Hey everybody, I'm wearing blue today for a reason. I've been hearing more about COVID toes lately and I'd like to share my thoughts with you. Okay, so I've been hearing about COVID toes lately. I've been reading about it on Twitter mainly. I've, I've been receiving a few uh, consult requests and I've also been reading about it in the media, for example, in the USA Today just a few days ago. My question is, is the entity of COVID toes real or are we seeing other entities that we're used to seeing in vascular medicine and they're just manifesting in patients who happen to have COVID-19? There are two types of COVID toes that are being described. The first, in young asymptomatic patients. Here, we're hearing about burning, itching, blue toes, sometimes with vesicles. In the ICU, we're hearing about a different type of blue toes associated with COVID-19. We're hearing about blue toes in very sick patients. Let's break it up a little bit. So let's start with the young asymptomatic patients. As you all know, COVID-19 hit us late fall into the winter. That just happens to be when also perneal chillblains is very prevalent in the northeast at least. Both entities seem to be uh, presenting with blue burning itching toes and with vesicles. So just theoretically, until we know more, there could be uh, just a co-sort of diagnosis of COVID-19 and perneal in these patients. There are also other diagnoses to entertain. Just one example, for instance, these are young patients, maybe they're taking uh, medications to help them concentrate. For example, Adderall, Ritalin, those are also known to be associated with blue toes. We've published about it and I'll put the link in the description uh, at the end of the video. Moving on to the ICU patients. Over there, the story is different. Blue toes in ICU patients is an entity in, in, of, in and of itself. We've actually written a, a post about this. Again, I'll post it in the uh, uh, description at the end of the video, but I'll tell you that there are other reasons. For example, acrocyanosis, vasospasm due to hypotension or vasopressors and other reasons. So again, it could be that the COVID-19 is resulting in sort of toe-specific vasoconstriction or uh, from thrombotic events. However, uh, there could just be other uh, reasons that are co-sort of uh, presenting in these patients. In summary, until we have a mechanism and causation data available, I would urge you to keep your differential diagnosis broad when you encounter blue toes in patients with COVID-19. We may find out that COVID toes is a real entity that should stand alone uh, on its own, but until that time, keep your mind open and remember the basic bread and butter vascular medicine that you've learned and the treatments that you can offer your patients irrespective of COVID-19. As always, please subscribe to the channel. Please comment. We love your comments and it allows us to interact and learn from you. Stay well.